and I, I'm in my 70s now, I'm just gonna tell the whole truth, nothing but the truth. Uh, the reality is, if you're on a politician's payroll, you can get mad if you want, I, I really don't care. Um, you're not gonna say anything against that politician. Um, I, 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 I look at I look at some of my brethren, and I, I, everybody knows I'm the one that stood up at my MLK day <laughs> and took on Governor Murphy with the marijuana piece. Um, we fought him for four years through the legislature, and he wasn't able to get it passed. But people, we like our lust. And so he, 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 he put it on the ballot. Not one African American, as I said five years ago now, not one African American owns a legal marijuana spot in this state. He said, well, we're gonna give it to the communities um, that were most impacted. First and foremost, there are no set-asides in the state of New Jersey. In the state of New York, there are set-asides. So not one black. Can you explain to the audience what set-asides are? Set-aside says that I can, and, and the NAACP um, was inter instrumental nationally of saying you had to have so many folks of different ethnicities that were qualified, let me, let me, let me, that were qualified to have these positions. Um, and so they would actually, and Clarence Thomas, as you mentioned, was a beneficiary of that through college, law school, and every place else he's been. Um, however, the reality is this, that New Jersey doesn't have set-asides. And we had black clergy going out saying, get my people high. Um, the reality, going full circle with this thing with the woman's body, I sit on the community board of both St. Michael's and UMD. And <coughs> um, nobody told our people, and by the way, Nor New Jersey, rather, is, leads the lower 48 and low birth rates to babies of color as well as infant mortality. New Jersey. Um, nobody told them that if your baby is born and he, the baby has THC poisoning, you have a DCPP, formerly DIFUS case, because it's federal. Marijuana is still, it's legal in your state, but federally illegal. I'm sitting at the table saying, why don't y'all put some money aside, because these children who brains, you know, and it's not lead paint. It's not lead paint. Being Who's going to take care of them babies? Being that you spoke of that there, let's broaden the perspective a little bit and speak of how young people are smoking everywhere from the vasing and everything else, and then they go apply for the job. Would you all speak on that there too? Because as you just stated, that it's a federal law. But by the right, same federal. aspect, mm -hmm. you are condemned. I don't condone it, but you're condemned because you do these things and understanding that that's not accepted everywhere. Well, let, let's, let, it, it shouldn't be accepted. A anything that alters your mind. As a retired urban development executive of Public Service Electric and Gas Company, I don't know, a lot of people don't know this, but PSE&G is self-insured. There is no Allstate or GEICO. They're self-insured. When I left the company, um, retired with pension, thanks be unto God, um, they were a $52 billion corporation. Their budget is larger than the state. They're not going to take a chance. It's a public safety issue. Can't take a chance on you coming in the house and blowing up everything. Can't take a chance on you running a 1,000 KV program. And so, no, you will not get hired. They can write into the legislation anything they want. Um, our Attorney General and the governor is backpedaling now on the piece that they said um, a police officer can smoke if he or she is off duty. Here's the reality to that. And I said this to um, uh, General Plankin, and I said, well, here's the reality. I'm telling everybody that if you get stopped, I want you tested for marijuana. I need to know. And so they're backpedaling on that. Uh, this is the perfect setup if you uh, are a young, healthy, uh, African-American male, smoke four times a week, from the time you're 15 at 21, Viagra will not help you. 
This is genocide. This is genocide. Now, when you speak of genocide, I'm pretty sure that the millennium um, generation is very, very cerebral. They really understand when you say genocide. But can you go a little bit deeper from the aspect also within the ACP, as far as genocidalness, period, what we've come through? Well, we, you know, with the, the, the epidemic of, of illegal guns, you know, in our community, um, impacting, you know, mostly our young people, uh, our future leadership. Um, we're, we're, we're in the midst of a, a major genocide going on right now. That's why we want young people in, involved in, in productive activity. Uh, you know that idleness is the, you know, uh, idle He's hands the monster. the, you know, dev, devil's, the devil's workshop. workshop. Right, and, 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 you know, the lack of opportunity, we're trying to create more opportunity for engagement of young people. Um, expungement programs to get them uh, uh, qualified for employment. Beautiful uh, point. <coughs> expungement. Yes. Can we speak of that there from you all's perspective with the state troopers and the NAACP? Well, go ahead. When it comes down to the state police or any police department, we talk about expungement, but depending on what the crime is. And here's the crazy thing they don't tell you, and that's why you don't see everybody, you know, um, saying, gee, I can now do ABC because it's expunged. That's another lie that they promised us. Because if I catch you with a knife and I'll just say a little bit of drugs, um, I just want to move the case through the system. I throw out the knife. you no longer charged with the weapons charge. We cut the deal. Now there's there's two things that I and, and the late Ken Gibson, my mentor, one of my mentors, said to me, if a prosecutor offers you the deal, it's not the deal until it goes to the judge. So the prosecutor could offer you this deal. The judge can say no. The reality is this that now when you go for the expungement, everything in the case has to come back in. And so it's, this is a mousetrap that we bought into, a lie, and boldface lie that we bought into. Um, I, I had a conversation face-to-face -face with the mayor up in Patterson. He was on a local cable network. Marijuana is going to bring jobs. I said to him, how many jobs? A thousand? With benefits? Three hundred? And, and, and these are the kinds of things our people jump on. Um, we have to learn, and, and, and I'm so glad um, when it talks, and, and Pooch, you've been to the church and whatnot, and yes, I have a relationship with a lot of young people. Um, it's getting to them. I, I, I did a, uh, a, a day at a school uh, up in Patterson, one of the high schools, and you know, brothers came in the hood on, and they just all, you know, and nobody could get them to quiet down. So uh, <laughs> I said, give me the mic. And uh, I, I, Jesus spoke Kanye, street greet. And so I went right to the street, because you have to meet a man or a woman where they are. And I said, set your little so-and-so down. And he turned around, and they said, whoa, whoa. I said, this ain't about a 70-some-year-old man challenge. I said, that's foolish. I said, but all these guys in blue, that's my gang. I said, <laughs> you gonna mess around. I know you all of that. I said, but you gonna mess around, probably smoke before you came here. Mm -hmm. But you need to find out that your reproductive cell, that Viagra mm -hmm. won't help you in the next four years. Quiet. And everybody said, set your soul and so Learn from the old man, learn from the old people. And, 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 and to see this brother, and I, I haven't seen you in, Yes, man. We, oh, uh, well, no, I, 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 I had, I had, I had here. We see each other around, but yes, I mean, sir. just to sit and talk. Oh yeah. You know, I, I yeah. seen this brother when he was coming up in his career, and I, I was proud. I had a whole head full of hair. And um, you know, the you know reality is, you know what's funny? The reality is. Let me, let me finish this point, Pooch. The reality is, here are brothers 
that, that have programs that are doing things. When the Newark water crisis hit, it, it's no secret. You know, the reason that I think the black church, they played into the politics, didn't want to offend the mayor, didn't want to offend the governor, but yet and still, that little church on 15th and Hunterdon, we gave away 60,000 cases of water. Trailers were coming in because we made an appeal nationwide. We ain't asking for money, we asking for water. I do remember that. We asking for water. Seton Hall, came up and we had volunteers, NAACP, different chapters came up. Um, my, 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 my brothers in the nation came up, because we were just giving water away. Well, you know, what I was going to speak of is how this fellowship right here of the old, no disrespect, and the new, if you have more of this in schools, in the neighborhoods, and in the barbershop, which <clears> used <throat> to be a vital importance of our neighborhood. Some of the things you learned in the barbershop were good, some weren't bad, but you didn't throw them away because someone was telling you from their experiences. And this is something that I find to be very, very vital that's very, very short-changed with the young people now. I coach, I train fighters, I do my speaking, but they want to know what happened, but I try to bring their attention that there's no difference in then and now. It's more prevalent now to listen to someone that has been through the things you're going to be confronted with. Well, the difference is, is that uh, Google. Uh, these young people have access like never before to information, and they should be excelling and succeeding. They have more opportunity now than ever before. Why are they turning their backs? on this opportunity. Why don't they think that being smart is cool? You know, why they don't why why do they think that, you know, not 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 being a registered voter is cool? You know, there 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 are so many things that that have uh, been um, uh, that they've moved away from that they don't embrace that we embraced it coming through because we understood, we were part, you know, we were the people on the move during the 60s and 70s. Well now. You know, we, we, we were on the march, you know, in, in the civil rights movement. My family was on the front lines. My uncle Reginald T. Jeffries, the long serving president of the Oranges Maplewood NAACP. My father, Jesse Jeffries, the first uh, African American chairman of the Zoning Board of Adjustment. We brought That's William right. S. Hart to power, the first elected black mayor in the state of New Jersey in January 1970 before Ken Gibson in July uh, 1970. Um, you know, we've been you know, involved, you know, we had an understanding, you know, a global view of the world. Why are our, 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 our young people now, now, with all the information at their fingertips, you know, uh, why they don't embrace the global view? Why are we killing each other at, at you know, unprecedented numbers? Why is conflict rev resolution between our young people at the point of a gun? You know, and so, you know, we, and there's a lot of things that are reinforcing that, you know, that uh, My in point. our culture. Uh, uh, if you will allow me to, to, to uh, just um, jump in at, at, at this point. Um, the, the other thing, uh, one of the other things that I've, I've, I've seen and I've studied, uh, again, um, I, I still hold my license in social work as well is that um, there is very little what I call home training. There's very few. Uh, I had a member uh, in my church, both of her sons and their fathers was in the same prison. Um, there was an example in the community. If his dad saw me doing something, I was just yoked up. And then when it got back to the house, he said, well, you know, your boy was down there. Now we have people that will fight you. You don't say nothing to my child. Well, mm -hmm. once he or she gets in the system, and you know this, how many years did you do um, in the system as a officer? Let me clarify that. <laughs> he wasn't, he was on the other side as an officer. Mm -hmm. How many years did I do? Um, in the system as a chaplain. Um, 
And, 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 and when the brothers get inside and see the reality, the reality, you don't see that many fathers there. You see.